Salia Farm, September 2017, Session Overview and Commentary. Uh, right here we have my horse, JW, and I working with a young man who's approximately 11, 10 years old, whom we'll call John for this video. Our goals with John are to work on confidence and anxiety. Uh, by doing this, we are going to be free leading JW. In order to free lead a horse, you have to gain the horse's confidence. And in order to gain the horse's confidence, you have to be confident in yourself. Uh, John tends to get some anxiety when his confidence is low, which is not a positive energy uh, for the horses. Right now, we're practicing leading JW with the rope. Uh, we're doing pretty good here. JW is following him nicely. He's not giving him any troubles at all. Right now, I'm going to instruct John to put the rope over JW. And there he goes. And hopefully, JW will follow, which he doesn't. Uh, let's look at John's body language. It's not very confident. It's more of like you're trying to call a puppy, which horses are not puppies. Um, dogs will follow pretty much anybody. Horses will not. Where they are prey animals, their goal is to be safe. And if they don't feel that you're confident, they're not going to be confident that you can keep them safe. We did this for about another 20 minutes. And here we are. We reached our goal. JW is confidently following John. And John is confidently lead leading JW. At this point, our goal is to just continue observing how John's feelings affect JW. And I'm not sure if any of you can perceive this, but there was a moment there where John just kind of was a little lax rope. in he's leadership. Trying. And now JW is really to trying to follow, but he stepped on the rope, so, you know, he couldn't do that. John rescued him. So look at John now. He's walking confidently. He's got a good swing in his arms. His head's up. His shoulders are up. JW is like, yeah, I can follow you. I like following you. You know where you're going. So I asked John. Now this is coming up. I asked John at one point how he was feeling. And of course that distracted him because he, his focus went to me. And JW immediately picked up on that and decided to smell something interesting on the ground, um, which is a little funny, but is also just a testament to how closely horses are watching everything all the time. As we're nearing the end of our video, I just really want to say I appreciate you watching, and please look us up on Facebook and at www.solia.farm. Have a great day.